In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace from God our Father, our Savior, the Faithful One, and may His grace and peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, coming together as God's family on the second day of our novena, with confidence let us ask the Lord's forgiveness and strength. Sagot po kayo ng malakasan. Lord Jesus, Son of David and Son of Abraham, forgive our lack of respect and sins of omission against our relatives. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, eternal Son of the Father, forgive our failure to live according to your teaching. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, Son of Mary, most holy, forgive our lack of concern and care for our fellow human beings. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, creator and redeemer of human nature, who will that your word should take flesh in an ever-virgin womb, look with favor on our prayers that your only begotten Son, having taken to himself our humanity, may be pleased to grant us a share in his divinity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. As old Jacob is about to die, he gives his son Judah, the ancestor of David and Jesus, a special blessing, which is a prophecy about his tribe's outstanding position among the other tribes of Israel. This prophecy has found its perfect fulfillment in Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob called his sons and said to them, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. You, Judah, shall your brother praise, your hand on the neck of your enemies, the sons of your father shall bow down to you. Judah, like a lion's whelp, you have grown up on prey, my son. He crouches like a lion recumbent, the king of beasts. Who would dare rouse him? The scepter shall never depart from Judah, or the mace from between his legs. While tribute is brought to him, and he receives the people's homage. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in His time, and fullness of peace God, with your judgment, endow the king, and with your justice, the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. The mountains shall yield peace for the people and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days, 
and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the rivers to the ends of the earth. May his name be blessed forever, as long as the sun, his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed, all the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Wisdom of our God Most High, guiding creation with power and love, come to teach us the path of knowledge. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram the father of Aminadab, Aminadab became the father of Nashon, Nashon the father of Salmon, Salmon the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse the father of David, the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abijah, Abijah the father of Asaph, Asaph became the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, Joram the father of Uzziah, Uzziah became the father of Jotham, Jotham the father of Ahaz, Ahaz the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh, Manasseh the father of Amos, Amos the father of Josiah, Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Shealtiel, Shealtiel the father of Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel the father of Abiud. Abiud became the father of Eliakim, Eliakim the father of Azor, Azor the father of Zadok, Zadok became the father of Akim, Akim the father of Eliud. Eliud, the father of Eleazar. Eleazar became the father of Mathan. Mathan, the father of Jacob. Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Thus, 
the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations. From the Babylonian exile to the Christ, 14 generations. Friends, brothers, and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Pakibati rin ang magandang gabi ang inyong mga katabi. katabi. At welcome po dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Kailang araw na nga ba tayo nagnunubina? Nabilang nyo na ba? Ilan na? Ah, pangalawa. Oo oh, naman. Kala ko nakalimutan yun na. Ah, medyo kakaiba itong ating ibang, binasang ibanghelyo. No? Puro pangalan. Nakaka-relate ba kayo sa mga pangalang binasa? Parang nag-roll call tayo. Ready na ba kayong mag-roll call ulit? Kaya lang puro pangalan ng lalaki ito eh. Meron bang connection ito sa ating mga buhay sa araw na ito? Sa mga sandaling ito? Baka tingnan ko lang ano magsa-survey lang po ako. Game ba kayo? Kayo, game ba kayo kung may tatawagin lang ako? Titingnan ko lang ako kung meron mga kapangalan dito sa maraming pangalan ating binasa. Pwede? Pwede po? Kayo, kayo. Hindi kayo sumasagot. Na, nakatulog na kayo sa haba ng mga pangalan. Pagka sinabi ko, binanggit ko yung pangalan at meron kayong kapangalan kahit na ipilido o first name o parang katunog, Tumayo ho po kayo, ha? Pwede? Para magising tayo, okay? Sino sa inyo ang may pangalang Zerubabel? Wala! Zerubabel, wala! Wala! Jehoshaphat! Ayan, meron na siguro. Jehoshaphat! Puro kayo kulang, eh. O eto, may nag bulog sa akin. Ahas! O yung mga ahas, tumayo! Ayaw naman. <laughs> Eto, baka meron. Shialtiel! Wala din! Wala. Salmon! O ayan, baka meron na. Wala. Solomon! O, sino? May isa. Solomon. O Solomona, kung babae. Wala. Eto, palagi ko meron na to. Jacob. Sino ang Jacob? Tumayo. Wala pa rin. Ano ba mga panganang binigay sa inyo ng inyong mga magulang? Teka. Jose. Asan yung mga Jose? Tayo. Wala pa rin. Nakakaiba ang mga tao dito sa Manawag. <laughs> o ito, Maria. Asa na mga Maria? Tayo. Nasa dalawa lang. Ano ba mga pangalan nyo? Kurdapia. <laughs> ito, palagay ko maraming tatayo dito. Jesus. Ayaw pa rin. Sige, Abraham na lang. May Abraham ba dito? Wala pa rin. Alam ko na, Marites. Ay, kahit, kahit talaga, dami nyo palang mga Marites. Eh, Marites, galing din ho yan sa Maria. Ang hirap po kasi nito ating Ibanghelyo. Parang, di ba matatanong nyo, Father, bakit puro pangalan yan? Puro lalaki pa. Apat lamang ang pangalan ng babae. Si Ruth, si Tamar, yung asawa ni Uria, si Betsiba yun, at saka si... Sino pa ba yung isa? Si Ruth, si Tamar, si Rahab. 
Kung makikita natin ang sabi ng mga dalubhasa sa Biblia, ang apat na babaeng ito ay mga hintil, hindi sila hudyo. Pero sila ay nakapangasawa ng mga hudyo. Pero sinasabi ng mga matatanda noong panahong yon na hindi kayo dapat mag-asawa ng mga hintil. Alam naman natin yan, di ba? Pero, in other words, meron silang kapintasan. Unang-una na doon, yung hindi pagiging hudyo nila. Meron pa nga dyan eh, uh, prostitute, at meron pa naging incestuous, etc., etc. Meron silang madilim na nakaraan, ika nga. Pero eh, ano ngayon sa atin, di ba? Father, ang tagal-tagal na niya ni Old Testament pa yan. Wala tayong koneksyon dyan. Parang anong importansya niyan para sa ating buhay? Oh, makikita natin doon sa dulo. Jacob, the father of Joseph. Kilala niyo ba si Joseph? Kung hindi niyo kilala, tumingin kayo doon sa kaliwa. Makikita niyo doon, katabi ni Maria, yung may bilog, si Jose yun. Klaro, lalapit kayo mamaya para makilala niyo. Magpakilala kayo, lalo na, lalo, lalo na kung pangalan niyo, Jose Ren. Si Maria, kilala niyo si Maria, di ba? Our Lady of Manawag. Oh, naandyan din yan sa Milen. Si Jesus, kilala niyo? Wala. Ba't kayo nandito? Si Jesus, kilala niyo? Ayaw niyo lang magsalita. Huwag niyo hahanapin yung sanggol. Asan si Jesus? Ituro niyo nga si Jesus. Ituro niyo. Nasaan ba si Jesus dito? Nasa altar ba? Ayun no, napakaliit eh, di ba? Dapat lakihan natin. Si Jesus, pero siya yung naging sanggol din. Kaya nga makikilala natin dito, sa Ibanghelyo ni Mateo, pinapakita kung saan ang galing ang ating Panginoong Jesus. Oo, siya nga ay Diyos, pero siya ay nagkatawang tao. Kapag sinabi natin nagkatawang tao, mga katabi nyo, tao ba yung mga katabi nyo? Tao? Sigurado kayo tao yan, hindi mumo. O tao, di ba? Kurutin ninyo, pag hindi umara yan, hindi tao yan. Di ba? Sinasabi ni Mateo, pinapakita niya, 1,800 years, simula kay Abraham, David, Maraming henerasyon, 1,800 years. At pagkatapos noon, nung siya isinilang, di ba? Bago siya isilang, another, at ngayon pala, sa bilang natin, dito sa ating araw, sa ating panahon, 2,000 years. Sa so, apat na libong taon ang ating binibilang. Ang hirap bilangin ng apat na libo. Pero ipinapakita lamang kung saan nang galing o nagbula ang ating Panginoong Yesus na ating isa-celebrate ang birthday sa December 25. Napakahalaga po na malaman natin kung saan tayo galing. Alam niyo, meron ako ikikwento. Hindi ko madalas ikwento ito. Nakakahiya. Pero matanda na po ako. Kaya pwede ko na ikwento. Noong kami ho ay lumalaki, uh, maliliit pa lang ho ako, mga guru grade school. Uh, ang kapatid ko po, dalawa lang po kami kasi, Meron siyang larawan, meron siyang picture na kinuha sa studio. Nakadapa po siya para siyang si Dam, na baby picture na nakaganon siya, nakataas yung kanyang paa, nasa yan yung balance. At nakita yun ng mga pinsan ko, mga kalaro ko, sabi, Roland, sabi niya, bakit yung kapatid mo may picture, baby picture? Bakit ikaw wala? Crisis na po ako noon. Oo nga, ano, bakit nga ako walang, wala akong picture na nakadapa o kahit nung nakahubot-hubad, wala. Tapos biglang may nagsabi, pinsa ko, ampun ka kasi. Ampun? Sabi ko, ampun. So ibig sabihin, hindi siya yung kapatid ko. Hindi ako anak ng tatay at nanay ko. Ganun ang isip ko noong mga panahong yun. Baka kasi may ampun sa inyo dito. Hindi po masama kung kayo ay maging ampon. Hindi po. Pero para sa akin, noong mga panahong yun, ampon, eh sino yung to- totoong tatay at nanay ko? Hindi ko alam. Pero hindi naman masyadong problema sa akin yun. Noong tinanong ko nanay ko, Nay, bakit nga ba si ate mayroong picture, baby picture? 
bakit ako wala? So pinaliwanag niya ay eh, kasi noong nung sanggol ka, napakahaba mong baby, hindi mo maitayo yung leeg mo, nababali, payatot ka eh. Ah, ganun po ba? Well, hindi problema yan, sabi niya. Ay ka, punta tayo doon sa studio. May studio pa po noon, wala pang mga cellphone. So pinakunan ako ng litrato bago ako mag-kinder, nakatayo sa isang silya o sa tabi ng silya. At yun, nilagay niya doon sa tabi ng kapatid ko. O ayan, hindi ka ampon ha? Pero hindi pa rin natahimik yung, yung isip ko. Hanggang sa medyo maidad-idad na ako, nakakabasa na ako, nakita ko sa aming aparador, may kapirasong papel. Sabi, birth certificate. Nandun yung aking pangalan, pangalan ng tatay ko, pangalan ng nanay ko. Hindi naman pala ako ampun eh. Kita nyo na. O nakamove on ako. Pero inisip ko yun. Hindi naman pala ako ampun. Meron akong pinagsimulan. Hindi ako putok sa buho. Alam nyo ba yung putok sa buho? Pagka hindi kayo kilala, sa magaling yan? Ay, ewan ko, putok sa buho. Galing ka sa kawayan. Biniyak na kawayan. Putok sa buho. Ay, tayong lahat, di ba? Meron tayong tatay at nanay. Kahit nasabihin pa natin tayo ay ampun, meron kayong kinakilikilalang tatay at nanay. Kaya makikita natin dito sa ating binasang mga pangalang Ibanghelyo, ang ating Panginoong Jesus ay meron ding tatay at nanay, si Maria at si Jose dito sa mundong ibabaw. Pero ang kanyang mga ninuno, hindi ho sila perfect. Lahat sila ay may kapintasan, simula kay Abraham hanggang kay David. Ang wala lamang kapintasan dyan ay si Maria, born without original sin. Joseph was a just man, sabi yan sa Bible. Silang tatlo. So ano naman ang connect natin doon? May connect ba tayo dito sa family tree ni Jesus? Yun ang dapat nating isipin. Konektado ba tayo dito sa family tree na ito ni Jesus? Yes or no? Hindi kayo kong bisido eh. Meron ba kayong connect dito sa family tree ng ating Panginoon? Sagot! Bakit? Ayan, oh, mas mahirap. Sige nga, itrace nyo nga kung saan ang papasok ang mga pangalan ninyo dito. Oh, madali lang. Tinanong ko, sinong Jose? Sinong Maria? Sinong Jesus? Anong sabi sa Biblia? Who is called the Christ? Meron ba ditong pangalan ay Christian? Tumayo nga, italagang binautismuhan ng Christian. Meron bang Christian din eh? Wala. Tayo bang lahat ay baptized? Ayun. Congratulations, matapang ka. Are you true to your name, Christian? Yes or no? Yes po, Father. Ay, kayo, hindi kayo excuse. Di ba Christiano rin kayo? Yes or no? Yung mga Christiano nga tumayo. Lahat, Christiano. Oh, di ba? Palakpakan ng mga Christiano. So meron tayong kunik dito sa genealogy of Matthew, the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Kaya huwag niyo sasabihin, di ba sinasabi, ano ba dadasalin natin mamaya? Ama namin, amami, our father. Yung our father ko ba, iba sa our father nyo? Hindi. So ano ibig sabihin nun? Kahit hindi tayo magkakilala mula kay Adan o kay Abraham o kay David, the fact na dinadasal natin, our father, ama namin, kahit hindi tayo magkakilala, kahit hindi parehong ipilido natin, hindi kaya tayo magkakapatid? A ver, kapag kasi sinabi natin tayo magkakapatid, sino kapatid nating numero uno? E di si Jesus. Blessed are you. Jesus is my brother? Really? Ay, depende. 
Kung pangalan mo nga, Christian, kagaya mo, di ba sigurado ka ng Christiano? Christian, andyan pangalan ko eh. C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N, Christian. Pero pagka ang inaasal mo, para, para sa ating lahat na Christiano, ay hindi maka-Christiano, makamarites lang. Eh, medyo mahaba yung gap na ating ibibridge, di ba? So itong genealogy o history, ng ating Panginoon ay nagpapahiwatig lamang how faithful kung gaano katapat ang Panginoon sa kanyang binitawang salita at pangako. Imagine, 4,000 years? Sige nga, mabubuhay ba kayo ng 4,000 years? Hindi! 70 or 80 for those who are strong and most of these are emptiness and pain. Pero hindi nagbibilang ng taon ang Diyos. Bilo nyo, mula kay Abraham, kay David, kay Solomon, hanggang kay Joseph, hanggang sa isinilang ang Panginoon noong December 25. Ang habang panahon noon. At mula nung isinilang siya hanggang sa ating panahon, di ba? Halos dalawang libong taon na. Hindi nagbibilang ang Panginoon. Bakit? Sapagka sa Kanya ay walang bilang sapagkat siya ay naghahatid, nag-aalay sa atin ng eternal life. Mabibilang niyo ba ang eternity? Ang eternity, walang oras, walang araw, walang taon. Eternity, buhay na walang hanggan. Ang alam lamang kasi natin ay buhay na may hangganan eh. Mamamatay tayong lahat sa ayaw o sa gusto natin. Pero, kapag tayo ay natapos na ang buhay sa mundong ito. Eternity. Langit. Kapiling tayo ng Diyos. Yun ay kung makikilala natin ay pinapakita natin dito sa ating buhay na tayo nga ay anak ng Diyos. Paano ba maging anak ng Diyos? Paano ba maging faithful katulad niya? Pagka faithful ka kasi, o yung mga may asawa dito, alam nyo kung paano nagiging faithful ang inyong mga asawa at mga kabiyak, di ba? Lalong-lalo ng mga babae, halatang-halatado yan. Meron silang mga intuition. Kaya kung minsan pagka nagseselos, ay ako, maghanda na kayo. Di ba? What is faithfulness? Huwag ka nang titingin sa ibang babae. Ikaw babae, huwag ka nang titingin sa ibang lalaki. Kailangan maging tapat ka, tapat. Ang Diyos ay naging tapat sa atin. Sino ang hindi naging tapat? Ang tao. Bakit? Sapagkat limited lamang siya. There is only one creator at tayong lahat ay creatures. Kapag ka creature, sigurado yun, may limitasyon, may hangganan lahat. Pero ang faithfulness, di ba kapag ka mag-asawa, sa, halo, sa buhay ng may asawa, kapag ka ikaw ay faithful, mapatawarin mo lahat eh. Di ba? Hindi naman pwede sabihin, o yung nagtaksil ka ha, sa ulian na tayo ng kandila. Hindi. You have to forgive. How many times? Ano sabi sa Bible, sa New Testament? Seven, seven times? Marami na nga yung seven times eh. Pero sabi ng Panginoon, seven times, seventy times, seven. Sige, paki, paki-compute nga. Marami ho yun. The Lord has been faithful to us to humanity. Tayo, inihintay lang ng Diyos na tayo ay mag-try hard to be faithful. Ano ibig sabihin yan? Huwag tayo maging judgmental sapagkat hindi natin kilala kahit ang ating sarili, hindi natin kilala, di ba? Ang Diyos lang ang nakakakilala sa atin at sa ating kapwa. Sometimes we don't even know ourselves the way God knows us. Diba? Sabi na, hindi, kilala ko na Father ang sarili ko. Talaga, mas kilala ka ng Diyos. Kaya nga mahirap mag-rush judgment. Bawal ang judgmental. Ito naman katabi ko. Natutulog na. Nagsimba pa. ba? Diba? E malay nyo na po yan. Meron palang binantay ang may sakit. Kaya huwag judgmental. O kailangan bang may patawarin? Lalong-lalo na yung mga mahal nyo sa buhay. Pasko! Please naman. Baka kailangan may ayusin sa inyong mga relationship. Now is the time. 
Kung na kayo maghintay ng bagong taon, patawarin na. Bakit? Sapagkat tayo rin, lahat, walang exception, kahit pari, ay pinatawad rin ng Diyos. Kaya nga pumunta ang Panginoon dito sa lupa, eh, naging tao katulad natin, eh, para maintindihan niya kung paano maging tao. Paano ba maging tao? Hindi maging perfect, hindi maging self-righteous, ikaw na lang lagi ang tama. Hindi. Mas maigi ngayon, nagkakamali tayo. Para ma-realize natin kung paano ma-feel yung, oh, I forgive you na ha. Huwag mo nang gagawin ulit ha. Di ba may mga ganong mga moments sa ating buhay? Wow, pinatawad ako ng mahal ko sa buhay. Ang sarap pakinggan. Kapag tayo ay inaabsorb sa kumpisalan, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, your sins are forgiven. Go in peace. Wow! Para kang nabunutan ng tinik sa iyong dibdib. O bakit hindi ka magpapatawad? Meron bang kasalanang hindi mapapatawad? Hmm. Kaya ngayon, Pastor, ito, lahat tayo ay merong pag-asa. We all have hope. Hindi natin pwedeng gamitin ang salitang, ay nako, kilala ko ng taong yan, hopeless, wala nang pag-asa yan. Hindi, basta may Pasko, basta buhay ang tao, merong pag-asa. Kaya nga, may Pasko eh, merong pag-asa. Kaya mamaya ha, pag uwi ninyo sa bahay, kung kailangan may ayusin sa inyong mga relationships, kung kailangan may sabihan ng Love you. Sabihin nyo na. Huwag na kayong mahiya. Kung kailangan merong yakapin, iyakapin na. Wala nang face mask. Kung kailangan merong isoli, isoli na. Kung kailangan may bayarang utang, bayaran na. Kung may ibabayad. Hmm. Yan ang diwa at spirito ng Pasko. Tayong lahat ay may pag-asa sapagkat merong Pasko. We now stand to offer our prayers and petitions. Encouraged by God's faithfulness to His promises, let us humbly submit to Him our petitions for the needs of the Church and all mankind. For each intention we are going to say, Lord, lakasan nyo ha. Lord, make us faithful to you. Lord, make us faithful to you. For the Catholic Church and all other Christian denominations, may the gospel we share bring ever closer to one another all those who believe in Christ. Let us pray. Lord, make us faithful to you. For all those who have been enslaved by the devil through a life of sin, may the power of God's grace lead them to start a life of faithfulness to the gospel. Let us pray. Lord, make us faithful to you. For all those who have been victims of injustice and oppression, may the spirit of the Christmas novena instill in their hearts thoughts of forgiveness and peace, let us pray. Lord, make us faithful to you. For all Filipino families, particularly those victimized by forced separation and economic hardships, may they find in their Christian faith and in the solidarity of their brothers and sisters the strength they need to overcome the present difficulties. Let us pray. Lord, make us faithful to you. For all of us and those entrusted to our prayers, may the light of God's grace brighten our hearts and make us instruments of His saving love. Let us pray. Lord, make us faithful to you. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Alam ko, mahirap din naman sabihin in general, no? May mga party sometimes ng ating buhay na talagang mahirap gawin. Alam ko naman ho yun, naiintindihan ko yun. At naiintindihan din niya ng Panginoon. Mas naiintindihan pa niya. 
Pero kung talagang bit-bit lagi natin, year in, year out, yung mga pasanay natin sa buhay, siguro pwede natin ipagdasal yon na matanggal at mabigyan tayo ng liwanag, ng clarity kung anong dapat natin gawin sa mga dapat natin ayusin sa ating buhay. Hindi lamang yung ating mga hinihingi. Alam na yan ang Panginoon, pero there are things sometimes that we keep in our hearts that are very difficult to give up. Maybe this is a time for us to also offer and open our hearts to God for all those difficult intentions that we have. For all this, we pray, Lord, Lord make us faithful, faithful to you. Lord God, you are the faithful one and the source of all grace. Give us the strength that we need to honor our baptismal promises, especially during this Christmas novena. We ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Let us pray, dear friends, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify these gifts of your church, O Lord, and grant that through these venerable mysteries we may be nourished with the bread of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. So once again, sagot po kayo ng malakas ulit, ha? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, and the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saints Dominic and Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Tinanong ko sa inyo kanina kung meron tayong koneksyon doon sa genealogy ng ating Panginoon. Alam naman natin ang answer. Opo, Father. Kaya nga natin dinadasal ang Ama namin. Ama natin. Bakit si Jesus ay aking kapatid? So at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer to one another a heartfelt and very meaningful sign of the peace of Christ. Kaya sa inyo pong lahat, peace be with you. Please kneel. Friends, sisters, and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed indeed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon bago marap sa magbibigay ng komunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo ang body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang ostya at sumagot ng amen at isubo na agad ang ostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ng ostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po.
please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by these divine gifts, Almighty God, we ask you to grant our desire that aflame with your spirit we may shine like bright torches before your Christ when he comes, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Uh, bago tayo mag final blessing, please allow me to thank those who lined up and uh, give the envelopes na ang nakatatakay pananabangan. Uh, yan po ay hindi pupunta kay Father ha, hindi sa bulsa ni Father po yan. Yan ay para sa mga projects at outreach ng ating parokya dito sa Manawag. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. At doon din po sa na, nag-offer ng kanilang mga love offerings. Thank you very much din po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. At kagaya ng pagbati ko sa inyo ng the Lord be with you. Maari po bang pakisabi rin sa inyo mga katabi, sa harap, sa likod, sa kaliwa at kanan ng the Lord be with you bago tayo magkahiwahiwalay. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have offered the Holy Eucharist. We go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks be to God. Siyempre po, pagka tayo nasa Manawag, there is always the blessing of the sick at the end and the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Kung kayo po ay merong nararamdaman o kung kayo ay naandito para sa isang mahal sa buhay na merong karamdaman, please raise your hand. No? God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health according to your divine will. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sa mga rosaryo po at mga religious articles, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed. And for those who will use them, made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.